welcome to another Menu Monday. Today I'm going to do what I cook between my Menu Monday meals. I know that doesn't really make sense, so let me explain. I usually try four new recipes every week for you, film them, give you the recipe and all the ingredients. I do not show you the ones that I don't like, so sometimes those get put in the trash and you don't see them. But what I'm going to do today is show you what I cook between those four meals because I don't every day have time to try something new or film it, all that business. So these are the meals that are my like sort of fast go-to's. These are just a few of them. I have four for you. So let's get cooking. So today we're going to make a salad. I'm sorry if I sound funny, my half my mouth is numb. However, we're going to just make a chicken salad and I'm going to go ahead and horizontally cut these chicken and then I'm going to season them with some garlic lovers that I got off Amazon and some garlic powder and onion powder. Now we'll get our fry pan ready and we're going to go ahead and get the chicken cooking and we'll season the other side once it's in the pan and we'll cook this in the frying pan until it is 165 degrees. I made some eggs in the Instant Pot. It is a five minute pressure cook, a five minute natural release, and then you release the rest of the pressure and you do a five minute bath. They come up perfect every time. Now I'm cutting up the salad that I wash for today, or the lettuce should I say, and then we'll get that divided up onto two plates and I shall start cutting the rest of the ingredients. First of all, tomatoes. Now we're going to peel the eggs and cut them and put them on the salad. Now the chicken is done, we're going to go ahead and cut that up and get that on our plates. now for a few croutons and then I'll put our salad dressings of choice on top. Big Daddy likes Thousand Island and I like ranch. 
Here are our finished plates. There are no ingredients for this. This was a throw together dinner. You can put whatever you like on your salad and I hope you enjoy it if you try it too. Another simple dinner in case you're having a long day. These were on sale at the grocery store. Uh, two packs for four dollars I think it was. Anywho, um, I decided to pick those up because I was at the grocery store and I was having, I still had to put all the groceries away and I thought this would be very quick and easy so Big Daddy could get to work on time. So the first thing I'm doing is making my fries. I had three of the yellow potatoes left over and then I had just picked up the reds. So I'm just slicing those up and getting them on the tray. I'm going to air fry them in the Amarillo Gossi air fry oven, which I can use instead of my little pink one. So I'm just getting those on there. I'm going to spray them and then season them with some salt and some garlic lovers that I got off of Amazon. Okay, now that the um, potato wedges are in the oven, I'm going to get the sausage heated up. This is the reason I got these. These are jalapeno flavor, and I knew Big Daddy would like those. The other ones are just cheddar, because I don't like things that are super spicy. They, they don't agree with me. I like them. So we'll get these in here and get these rolling around. This is my grill pan that I use inside. It makes those nice grill marks on your sausages. Now I'm gonna grate up some cheese. I like cheese on my hot dogs and sausages. Okay, the sausages are done. Don't let marks look pretty. I've had this pan since the sticks and bricks, but just don't use it enough. All right, let's dish up. So we'll get our hot dogs in there. I've got some pickles, which I picked up at the store today too. And we'll just put some ketchup, mustard, and cheese on there, and then get the French fry or the wedges out of the oven. Now, like with the other salad dinner, I don't have ingredients per se but I just wanted to give you guys some ideas for simple quick dinners that you don't even have to think about and I hope these help. There's a finished plate. There was plenty for Big Daddy to take to work. I really enjoyed the chatter and Big Daddy loved the jalapeno ones. On this day, I had been grocery shopping and Big Daddy had to leave early to go pick some glasses up that he purchased. So it had to be super quick. This is the easiest dinner ever. You just brown your hamburger, get out the grease, pour in the sloppy joe mix and you're done. I toasted some buns. I served it with chips and pickle. It was really good and there was plenty left over for Big Daddy to take to work. Another great dinner there's a go-to for me is a lasagna. Super simple. I just use hamburger, lasagna noodles, spaghetti sauce, and whatever cheese I have in the refrigerator. So today I had some aged Asiago that had been in the fridge for quite some time. It had to be used by September, so I'm still well in 
in the time frame. But I did some research or I looked it up online and it said that often people use that instead of ricotta in their lasagna. And Big Daddy and I do not like ricotta. I always make my lasagna like this. So I decided to grate that up, put it in this lasagna and see how it turned out. And it was fantastic. So all I do is cook my hamburger, cook my noodles, and then I'll go ahead and layer it up and pop it in the oven until it's crispy. There's my cheese. I did have to do that on this meal. Just, you know, grate it up. And I popped this in the oven for about 30 minutes. So it's another dinner that doesn't have a recipe. It's just throw it together, put in whatever you have on hand and be done with it. And I hope you've enjoyed these simple dinners. Here's what it looked like coming out of the oven and here is our finished plate with some garlic cheesy bread on the side. I hope you enjoyed those super super simple meals, tongue tied, I uh, did for you today and I do have others but next week I'm back to doing some new recipes, very good ones by I add, that I've never done before. So with I will see you next Monday. If you've made it to the end of my video, please leave me a food emoji, any type of food you like to pick. I'll see you next Monday. Bye guys.